Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a classic mudslide. Now, there's a bit of a story to this cocktail, but it's not long, trust me. Uh, so apparently in the 1970s at a little place called The Wreck Bar in the Rum Point Club on the Grand Cayman Island, a customer came in and said they wanted a white Russian. But, hold the sauce here, they didn't want heavy cream. What they wanted was Bailey's. So that got mixed up and was became very, very popular. Having said that, a little bit later, it slowly made its way to North America and the rest of the world, and it evolved into what we know as the classic mudslide. Simple, easy, and creamy, perfect for any time. Now, it's a shaken cocktail, so let's get right into this. So grab yourself your shaking tin, and we're going to start this with a little bit of vodka. Now, I'm using Finlandia vodka. Use whatever you want. However, we only need one ounce or 30 mils. Our second ingredient is a coffee liqueur. And this is where you can vary your cocktail slightly because we're going to use Kahlua, which is uh, made with rum and it's from Mexico, but this is a sweeter coffee liqueur. However, if you use something like a Tia Maria or Mr. Black, those are not as sweet and they will adjust your taste profiles a little bit to whatever you prefer best. But we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 mils. Your third ingredient then is Bailey's. Having said that, you can use your favorite Irish cream whiskey. Uh, and you can even use something that's slightly flavored if you really want to play with your flavors. But today I'm using the basics. We're going to use again the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Now your fourth ingredient is different than what a lot of people use for a mudslide. A lot of people will use some vanilla ice cream just to give it that thickness and consistency that they want. However, what we're going to use is whipping cream. Now that's anywhere from 33 to 35%. A lot of people will call it heavy cream, just so uh, you know what it is. And if you say we're to cut it 50% milk and 50% whipping cream, you'd get half and half, just so that you understand how it works. And I rambled a bit. But having said that, we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now that you've added all of these ingredients, what we're going to do is shake this with some ice. And stick with me because you want to see exactly how nice and creamy this is going to tamper out. So grab yourself a little bit of ice and what you want to do is just fill the glass all the way to the top. Make sure you have a really good seal so that when you flip it, it doesn't come apart and you can shake it with a smile. Okay, so what you want to do is just pop that off, let that drain for a second. And we'll just put this off to the side. Now I'm going to serve this in a coupe. You could serve it in a rocks glass, whatever you want. But I am going to actually fine strain this because I want to actually give it a nice foamy texture and keep out any ice crystals. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that. Now what we are going to do is we're just going to put that off to the side for a second because we're going to garnish it. Now I have some baker's chocolate, so we'll just break that open and grab yourself a little microplane. And what we'll do is we will just, using a little bit of technique, we'll just, what are we going to do? Oh yeah, we're going, <laughs> we're going to grate this just directly over the center. Absolutely gorgeous. You just can't go wrong. Let's try it out. Immediately a little hint of coffee and chocolate. Oh, mm. oh, really good. It's creamy, but not overly creamy. It's a gorgeous taste of coffee and Bailey's and just little hints of chocolate. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.